turkey season. That never hurt your feelings. I started off back on the ridge from my normal listening spot up here behind uh, my place where I do a lot of turkey hunting. And uh, there's some birds across the holler here. Normally I would uh, chase after them, but as soon as I got up here, there were two dudes driving a truck across the field and a dude on a four-wheeler. So a little crowded back in my spot. <laughs> These guys, uh, they hunt here usually the first couple days and then they quit. With this coronavirus stuff, they might be off work, so I might have to deal with them quite a bit. But the good thing is, on my side here, there is just a ton of turkey scratching. And these birds aren't gobbling all that good right now. They gobbled a few times. And it sounded like there were several of them in there, but uh, I'm just gonna <clears throat> I'm just gonna hang out because I know closer to the middle of the day these turkeys are gonna be on this side. At least I think they will. They've done that several times in the last couple weeks. Coyote staring at me. It's always a coyote hunt. <laughs> this is probably going to turn into a midday hunt. I cracked his ass, so he ran down. I mean, he, I saw him running a good ways down through there. I don't know if I got that on camera or not. <laughs> that was fun. A little bit of excitement this morning, anyway. I'm just going to hang out here now. I got a good view of this uh, big holler down here. And. I can kind of just watch and see what these turkeys are going to do. First day is always kind of a scouting mission back here anyway because there's so much different in here than there has been the last couple of years. They put in this horse fence that's kind of like a five-strand uh, plastic. I don't even know what you call it. It's about that thick of strands of fence. And those turkeys don't like to cross it at all. So it's... Uh, made last year tough and it might make this year kind of weird too there's also a house up here that they just built it's a lot of things are different than what they normally are so this is probably going to be a long game today probably be out here a good bit of the day i just heard somebody shoot over there seen a turkey flopping in the field oh boy got him one non-goblin birds for sure but he shot twice for some reason that was after this one was already on the ground flopping so maybe there's two dudes in that blind or something I don't know well I was uh, planning on filming this dude pick up his turkeys but one gobble back here pretty far away but on property I think I can hunt I might have to go after that bird. He sounded maybe five or six hundred yards away, but he at least, uh, I think he's on a place I can hunt.
start one drumming. I don't know what all I got on camera, that debacle. But, uh, I had a bird. I heard him gobble out here when I was back where I shot that coyote. And I moved out here to the edge of this field. It's real thick brush all around it. And I, uh, called a couple times and he didn't respond again. And then he gobbled probably about 100 and 50 yards from me uh, and they usually work out of that brush into these fields so I just sat up called a couple times and got quiet for about probably about an hour and uh, nothing showed up I sat and waited and didn't hear any more gobbles so I stood up and cut real loud and he gobbled about 60 yards away from me sat back down and he come out to probably 35 or 40 yards but he was in a bunch of real thick stuff I just see his head pop up looking every now and then and he worked back out towards this point and probably another hour went by and I could see him every now and then and I'd hear him drumming every now and then just kind of loafing around on that point and I waited and he got down here to about 35 yards in all this real thick brush. I can see his wings every now and then, see his fan every now and then. And then a bird started putting at me right here close. I'm mean, just 10, 15 yards on the other side of these big trees. I don't know how any of them would have saw me, but I mean, you never know, it's a turkey. So. I'll probably try to make a little bit of a move on them. The bad thing is, is it's just not a easy place to get to, to walk through there. Normally, I'd probably make a pretty good loop around them, but I don't know if I'll be able to. They started gobbling there for a little bit. A couple different birds across the hollow did. Guess we'll just keep going and see what happens. Your gun. Yep, here's my We gun. have the same colors of our guns. We do.
We do. Let's get out here. But I said we don't have a slap. I said, I said we All right, come over here. <laughs> uh, Elsie and I, I guess tell them what we're doing. Going hunting. We're going to go hunt a turkey. And I think I heard one down here by these pine trees. You think there's one down there? Yeah. Do you remember how to turkey call? Nah, it was because. All right, well, let's start walking down that way. I got my gun. You got yours? Yeah. Okay, let's walk down this way. We got our hunting dog with us. You got our hunting dog. Come on, hunting dog. All right, you go, you go first. I'm going to follow behind you. And if, if you miss, I'll back you up. Is your gun loaded? Okay. Oh, thank you. You hear him? Yeah. Oh. Let's keep going. Let's see if we can catch, go find this turkey. I'll gun the little one. You gun the big one. I'll gun the big one. You gun the little one. Yeah, that's what I said. We better watch out for them. Go up close to him and shoot him. Huh? Oh, you got him. You got your first turkey. Oh, you got him good. What do you think? I'm get him. Oh, I see a bunch of him. <laughs> That's pretty cool, isn't it? Yep. Let's go find another thing. Well, we, unfortunately, that's the only turkey we're going to be able to hunt. Then let's put it somewhere else. Okay, I'll do it. I'll do it here. I will go not look. <laughs> well, this is what my evening is consisting of, is a uh, little turkey hunting training Daddy. with my daughter. Daddy. What, baby? Daddy. Yep. Daddy. So, uh, we're going to turkey hunt this afternoon <laughs> and uh, then uh, probably be back after we're supposed to rain in the morning but we're gonna get after them anyway somewhere even if it's just driving around and uh, glassing some fields of public that I know of so we'll get after them uh, you guys stay tuned myself and Jared have a lot of hunts coming so uh, keep up with it man we'll see you Annie, look out, you're gonna get shot. Annie, Annie, get out of the way. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, you nailed him right in the head. <laughs>